Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Mario Kart Tour. Today, we are taking a look at the Holiday Tour, now open, featuring some very fancy costumes for both Yoshi and Pauline. I'm really excited for the Reindeer Yoshi. That was one I said I wanted um, in a previous tour. I was like, oh, if there's any holiday thing I want, it's Rain Reindeer Yoshi. And there it is! <laughs> My dream has become a reality. Uh, the ranking results are on display. We should have gotten first place unless they changed it again. But I don't know. Um, the last time I played, I got it up the first place. Third place, great, ah, darn. Because they keep changing it, I, I can't check them every day. <laughs> oh well, there we go. 15 rubies, 1,200 coins, three driver points up, and three car points up, and three glider points up. That's still pretty good. And obviously the higher tier we get no matter what, because we won from tier 21 to tier 23, our rewards will still get better. Of course, they'll be much better if we can get first place in each one, um, but we got 41,000. First place got 41,975. I feel like if I put in enough time, I could have beaten that, but who knows? Uh, it was definitely tough, but anyways, here we are in the holiday tour. Very excited for this one. We get 100 coins for our first login bonus, and as you can see, here is the holiday tour starting now. The holiday tour has begun. Collect grand stars and see if you can com complete all of the cups. The featured tour gift this time is Koopa Troopa. If you're subscribed to the Gold Pass, and then you'll also have a chance to get the Yellow Taxi as a tour gift. No character this time? That's sort of lame. I don't like that very much. I feel like each month, the Gold Pass is getting less valuable to me. Um, but well, yeah, what I'm interested in for right now is what is the new track? Is it Rainbow Road? Oh, it's Rainbow Road, okay. It has to be, there's a Rainbow Road behind them. So also, as you can see here, there's a couple of things going on. Let's read through the news. What, Birdo's in the game? Okay, hold on, there's some new stuff. Check out the 20, the New Year 2020 pack. Uh, check this out. So it looks like this has a New Year's 2020 glider. I'm not too wild about it. It's only $2, though, that's, I mean, I say that. It's just a glider. I don't know if you should have to pay any money for it but that's cheaper than what they usually charge for things. And then new Yoshi Reindeer is here. Yoshi Reindeer, Jingle Bells, and Gift Glider are in the spotlight, become a shining light in the starry sky. So there he is, he's adorable, I love him. Yoshi Reindeer's special item is the Yoshi Egg, which only Yoshi has, so it's good to have another character with the Yoshi Egg, technically. Uh, you'll get a nice surprise when it breaks, more items. The favorite courses for this driver will include the second course of every cup for the duration of the holiday tour. This should help smash some point records. So very, very cool, I'm gonna be looking forward to this. Actually, that's what we're gonna get started with right now because of the fact that I, I wanna get started with the holiday tour, the holiday pipe, everything. So, let's hope we get something good here. It's only a green pipe, but that still means there's a chance we can get what we're looking for. We start with the super blooper, moving into the pipe buggy, another pipe buggy, pipe frame, uh, piston glider, land ship, shy guy, and King Boo. Okay, level three for, for King Boo. Uh, another Toad, Landship's gonna get to level four. Glad to get a couple of level ups, so three supers in that one, nothing too major. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some more rubies and do another proper spending spree here until we get the beautiful Reindeer Yoshi. So back to the spotlight pipe. We're gonna spend another 10 here, or spend 45, 410, and we get a golden pipe! Come on now, let it be the wonderful Rainbow Yoshi. Rainbow, Reindeer, I don't know why I wanna call it that, but all oh, right off the bat, what are we getting? Come on! <laughs> Why? All right, well, Peach is great, and I'm glad we're getting level four with her, but not what I was looking for, that's for sure. We do get Morton, and, I mean, there could still be more. There is! Come on, please. Yes, there we go. It psyched me out with the first one. That's what I'm talking about. Yoshi Reindeer, absolutely stinking adorable. Yoshi's Egg is his special, as we said before. We also get the Day Tripper and the paper glider, and the barrel train, pipe frame, lemmy, pink flower glider is new, that has super horn plus, parachute's gonna get to level five now, that's one of our highest level gliders for sure. So we're not quite done, we're gonna keep going and see if we can't get these other two spotlight things, uh, of course we still have the spotlight car and glider, we'll just keep working on it and see how things go, but for right now, boom, right off the bat, wow, jingle bells, dash panel plus cart, that is so cool, so we'll be able to, you know, dashing through the snow with a sleigh, isn't that how the song goes, something like that, we can do that with Yoshi and that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the words fixed up. Anyways, that was another level up for something there. Baby Daisy is getting closer to one. Landship, Baby Mario, Roy, and the BBIA Parafoil, Baby Peach, Super Glider, and that's it for that one. But still, 
amazing. So glad we were able to get the Jingle Bells cart. Next up, keep going. Could we really knock out, knock it out of the park so soon and get the glider? Or not the glider, yeah, that is the glider. It doesn't look like one, but we do get another golden pipe, so the chances are there. We're starting with a cheap charger getting level four. Parachute, now making its way farther than level five. Baby Daisy's almost at level four. We get the bullet blaster. Dry bones. Oh, it's coming up soon, I know it. Ludwig. Come on. Whoa, there it is! Wait, no, wait. That's a different glider. That's a glitter glider. Wasn't that from last tour? Huh. Hold on, I'm a little confused. Um, we also get Piranha Plant Parafoil and Baby Mario and Super Glider. That's gonna be it. But still, I'm glad we got another high end, but I'm a little confused because I thought that was the spotlight for last tour. Let me double check. It's definitely not the spotlight for this tour. Maybe it's the spotlight for next tour though. We're not taking the next pipe. But I swear that wasn't the case. I thought the glitter glider was from, maybe they're still in the chances for right now, which is weird. That's not usually how that works. So I wasn't quite able to get that, but hopefully we can get that in an upcoming episode. For right now, um, there's obviously different things. I wanna see what characters were added then. Was it just the two costumes in Birdo? Was there more? It looks like that was just the case. Um, very interesting, because honestly, this is our first new character in a while. This is our first brand new character Believe it or not, yes, this is our first brand new character added since the Luigi's Mansion Halloween tour. Unless you count Pink Gold Peach, which I don't. I think that's a, char a character costume of an existing character. So the first new character we've gotten since King Boo and King Boo Luigi's Mansion. Um, I, I do consider them two different characters, personally. But either way, unless you count, once again, the free running Koopa, which is just a red Koopa with a hat, so I don't. So Birdo, first character in literally like two months. Isn't that insane? That's just a long time to go. But anyways, we'll be checking her out next episode. I do want to check out the shop, the daily selects as well, see if there's anything we can grab real quick that might be close to a level up. Yes, we got the uh, pipe frame is going to be now level five. That is crazy that we're getting things up to level five. Um, nothing else here seems to be just one one or two steps away from a level up, except for the, uh, the, the rarer things, but not as worried about those. All right, well that was a lot of fun. We are now going to go, of course, and get tackling with the actual holiday tour. We have the Yoshi Cup, Rosalina Cup, Mario Cup, and Birdo Cup that we'll be tackling in today's episode, and then next episode, we'll be doing four more cups. So let's start with this. So excited to play as Yoshi Reindeer. And we'll do this, and I can't quite do this, but hopefully soon I can get it. But for right now, we'll do the Bat Glider instead. Not 200cc, instead 150, and let's get going. See, I'm really happy about this, that we are able to get two out of the three. Usually, you don't get that lucky that soon. I mean, look at what happened with Bus Driver Waluigi two episodes ago. It was a mess. But yeah, we're sort of back in the New York Minute 2. This is different then. Huh. So it seems to be sort of like a remixed New York Minute. Maybe there's different turns and stuff. I can't exactly remember New York Minute too much, because it's been a while. But it's interesting that this has returned in this tour as well. This is the first time we've had a returning real world location track. Usually they stay to their respective tours. So like we haven't had the repeat Tokyo tour after, or Tokyo Blur after Tokyo tour, you know? So that's where things are getting interesting here because this is not the Spotlight tour track, I don't think. I think the Spotlight tour track is supposed to be Rainbow Road, but I might be wrong. I know it's in the game because you know we had it on the screenshot there, so I'm really excited to see it because Rainbow Road has been one of the ones I've been wanting. I don't know which version it is. It's most likely the Nintendo 3DS version, Mario Kart 7, um, because most of the tracks here are based off of that, so we can get a trick off of that. I didn't know if that was gonna hurt me or not. Okay, throw out that red shell. So we didn't get past there in first place. I'm sort of warming up still, though. Oh, how did I not get that mushroom? I don't know. Uh, let's use an item ticket real quick. That was a mistake. Uh, <laughs> come on, keep going, Yoshi. I mean, hopefully the score requirement won't be too crazy, but if it could do better than this, that'd be great. Okay, keep going. You got it, you got it. Ready, set, get him! Got him, nice. But as per usual, it's hard to keep a combo on these kind of tracks. But definitely, the, the layout's slightly different at the least. I don't think it's entirely, but we got some ramps in some different places. We have these sewer grates that are popping water out of the out of the ground, you know? So it's at least a little bit different. Uh, I'm building up a bit of a combo this time. Throw down that banana and get the win. So we're gonna get a total of about 7,000, yeah, 7,000 points. The start off this tour. I just, I love this little Yoshi. 
I know this isn't the first time Yoshi dressed up in reindeer, uh, like a reindeer costume has shown up in like Nintendo promote promotion material. So I'm glad to see, you know, they're sort of taking inspiration from that. Really, really cool. So there's five grand stars for us and we are going to move to the next tour, which is a DK pass the next track. Land a hit with a green shell. Very cool. Activate frenzy mode and land a hit with a bob bomb. We can do both of those hopefully soon. And we get our first challenge done of the tour. It is earn a score of 7,000 or higher using a driver wearing a shell. Well, that's definitely Yoshi. And there we go. And with that, let's go to DK Pass. And we'll play as DK himself, seeing how he has the higher level here. I, of course, wanted to do at least one raise with Reindeer Yoshi before we start focusing on some of this stuff. Right now, we will do this. And see how things go. Oh wow, that's a very sparkly Pauline. We'll definitely get her in the next pipe. Looking forward to it, but it's cool that some people are already unlocking her because you always have a chance to do that in both of the pipes of a tour but it's just much lower as far as I understand. Anyways, DK passes DK should be good. Of course, this was, I mean, this was the new track added in the last tour, but you know, that's sort of the thing. Well, actually no, last tour was the London tour. The tour before that, we got this track. It's the real world location tracks that end up only being usually exclusive to that area. Usually from what I remember, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just misremembering. But definitely our first time playing New York Minute in a while, regardless. So, excited to see it, it's been a lot of fun. Ow, oh, not good. I was about to take that ramp and everything. Oh well, we'll take this one. Yeah, so far so good, but I would love to hear your thoughts on, uh, ouch, uh, Reindeer Yoshi. Do you think he's, you know, a good little uh, present for Christmas? I think he's just adorable. I just, I love Yoshi so much. And I definitely think he was worth getting, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Oh boy, watch it, watch it. Ah, come on. No, I was just complimenting you, Rainbow Reindeer Yoshi. I don't know why I wanna keep calling you Rainbow Yoshi. It just sort of rolls off the tongue easier. Okay, so our first lap, not so great, but our second lap will be spectacular. Ready for it. Bullet Bill, go through everybody, please. Please, please, please. Okay. Watch it, please. Oh, come on. Yikes. What are you doing? Leave me alone. We're in third place, second place. We're starting to catch up. Use the mushroom. Use that. Don't explode it. Thank you. Okay, so she's throwing coins everywhere. Keep going, keep going. Got it. But it's crazy because of all the, you know, pipes we go through. We really do have some crazy high level stuff now. And hopefully that'll help us more and more as we get higher tiers in the ranked cups and everything. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. We're definitely gonna be able to win this. The question is now, Will we actually be able to win this? I don't know. Ow. Come on, come on. Yes. All right, so we get 4,000 points for winning, getting us a score of over 10,000 for what was really just not even that good of a race. We still haven't gotten a frenzy today, you know? Shows you our higher levels, which I did get the level 24, I think, between episodes when I was trying to get the rest of that uh, ranked cup figured out uh, last episode or between last episode and this episode. You know what I mean? Mario Circuit 2 is coming up next, but first we got another challenge done. Get a fantastic combo a total of five times. Not too bad to do for us. That's gonna get us one grand star. And uh, get a 30, or got a combo count of 30 or higher. I guess we did that. It's a little Christmas tree. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, two grand stars for that one. And for gold challenges, earn a score of 10,000 or higher using a driver wearing a tie, which does anybody else besides DK have that? I don't know. There's that one done. So three uh, challenges done just from that one race. And now we're doing Mario Circuit 2. We'll be doing it with uh, Pit Crew Toad and this cart and that glider. Like level three and level four cart and glider combo is pretty crazy. So let's figure this out, see how it goes. I mean, usually these kind of tracks are my favorite as the SNES courses. Got it. Okay. Oh no, trying to grab those coins, but I sort of messed it up. Honestly, the competition has been pretty tough so far in today's episode. They're not letting me get by this easily, but I've won both races, right? I think. We always get, we always use Pit Crew, Crew Toad on this track, and we always have the boomerang. I mean, I think he has a high chance of getting the boomerang, but it just, it happens so often, it's a little weird. Anyways, keep, keep drifting here, not gliding. I always get that mixed up too. Okay, we have a red shell. I'm gonna save it, of course, until we need it or until at least I can throw it backwards. Pretty good action there. I feel like we went through that really nicely. 
Oh gosh. Trying to keep this combo, didn't work out so well. Can I hit free running Koopa? I can hit Rosalina. All right. Now I have another Koopa shell to hit me, or to protect me from getting hit. My words, I just, my there's, there's times where my brain thinks about the end of the sentence before I'm finishing speaking the beginning of the sentence, and it gets messy. I'm so sorry. There we go. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. Whoop, oh, okay, for a second I thought we were landing in the green there. There we go, and that will be another major score of 8,500. Still no frenzy, but that's fine. We'll get it at some point, and then we'll get that daily challenge done. In the meantime, extra bonus percentage there, and some bonus points for the glider. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, and our scores are like pretty tame at the moment. As long as we're like routinely scoring at least six or 7,000, we should be fine. Now it's time for a time trial. I love these so much, so this will be interesting, especially on the track like this. We haven't really had the chance to do something like this on with time trial. This will be interesting, because there's not really too many major shortcuts for this one. Like there's like one or two I might be able to think of. But honestly, I don't really know if they're all that much faster, like the gliding section. I really don't know if that's any better. But we can do that. And then I can try to get over here. I sort of failed at it. But getting up there can be helpful because you can just sort of cut that corner a little bit early and then sort of get around this corner as much as we can, trying not to run into the clams or whatever they're supposed to be. So go to the left, and this is where this gets really tricky because I'm just trying to stay center, but I don't know, this is really tough to do. I guess that might be better, but if we dive down real quick and try to get the speed boost, I think that'd be even better. And then right around this corner, I guess I'll just use the mushroom. Cut off a couple of seconds there. I don't know where else to use it, you know? Anyways, let's cut in like this. Boom, got it. And then right from the get-go, I'm gonna go like this, and then, oh darn, maybe I do need to use the mushroom to get over there. Like maybe that's just the, the situation. I'm not really sure, it's a little bit odd. I mean, maybe it might not be worth doing. Can I go in here real quick? Yes, I can. I do think that the gliding is a little faster now that I've experienced it, which is why I'm going to ruin it. It's really tough to do, though. I got lucky the first time, I feel. Okay, come on, go and go. And mushroom. Not too bad, actually. And time. One minute and 24.66 seconds. That's fine. I think we can handle that. So as you can see, 140 was what we needed, so we were fine. We had like a 16 second lead on that. Not too bad. Next up, that is the Yoshi Cup completed. Now we move on to the Rosalina Cup, which is going to feature Daisy Hills to start with. We'll definitely play as Daisy. We will play with this cart, and this glider's level four, so we'll work on that one a little bit. Okay, let's get going. So, so far, the Holiday Tour, what is it? Is it Holiday Tour? Yeah, the Holiday Tour has had an excellent start with uh, nothing but wins and grand stars and all that kind of stuff. Let's hope it continues in the second cup. Go for it, okay. So we're not starting immediately in the lead, but that's sometimes better because that means most of the items won't be focused towards me, I would hope. Oh, oh, if we could, yeah, we hit people with bob bombs there. That's really important because that is going to be one of the daily challenges. So the only one I need to do now is get a frenzy, which I feel like if there was ever a track to get a frenzy on, it would be this one, right? Okay, so I'm going wide here. People are gonna end up getting in front of me, but hopefully in return, I can get some you know, extra coins, extra combo because of that. I hit some people with that green shell. Can I get up here? You bet I can. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth doing, but I did it. Okay, watch it, watch it, watch it! Ah, oh, I sort of messed it up, oh well. So we're in fifth place at the moment. That's not really the best placement, so if we could just throw that down there. Get in front of King Boo. Fourth place is a little bit better. We get 278 points for uh, crossing the finish line. There we go. Just keep on getting that combo up for a little bit longer so that we can get a heart frenzy. More than that, it's a frenzy. That's good. Cut across this corner, be able to do a nice shortcut, just like that, no problem, but I still have not caught up to you because this game is ridiculous. We're in third place now. I get a banana, a banana, and a red shell. I know it might be a bit dangerous to use all those items like that, but I just, I need to get ahead. Somehow we lost out our combo again. I'm just not gonna be able to do much more than this, though. It's a little ridiculous. Okay, throw that out. Oh, the windmill goes in to save you. Use an item ticket quick. Come on, I need at least second place. I need at least second place. Thank you very much. Bullet Bill's coming in though. Be very careful. And boom, we hit 
uh, P chat with it right at the end. 10,637 points is okay. Could be better, could be worse for sure. We've definitely scored way higher on Daisy Hills. But for right now, that's gonna be enough to keep going, get some bonus points for everything, and get 10 grand stars very comfortably. Okay. So as you can see, there's that done. There should definitely be the daily challenge. Actually, both of them done. So we're all clear with our daily challenges now. And we can move on to just focusing on Ghost Valley with uh, King Boo. And this cart, because they're both level one and that glider. Let's see how it goes. Very spooky combo for sure. So. Of course, this track is very, very short. It can be tough to get anything major done with it, but we'll try. We have a decent base score, 1468. I mean, I, I feel that's pretty good. I always say it's decent when it's actually, like I think the maximum base score you can have is around 1,600. We haven't quite reached that yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure we would have technically a combo that would hit that, but we haven't ran across it in like real life gameplay. Because we definitely have maxed out carts, gliders, and drivers that are high end because they have a higher max score. But I just haven't experienced that yet. Like I said, all in one place. There we go. So we're keeping a combo throughout this entire race right now. Which obviously is exactly what I want. Okay, bananas. No, it just ended for some reason. That was weird. I feel like I was like I was in the middle of doing it. All right, uh, we hit Reindeer Yoshi with this Koopa shell. So very interesting race. I wasn't able to keep the combo the, all, the whole way there, but very close to it. Boom. All right, so 9,307. Still a pretty good score given the circumstance of this tiny, tiny track. Very happy with that one. Okay, so bonus points for the glider. Always good to see that. We get some good amount of stuff. We get 41 coins in that one. Very cool. We're probably hitting our maximum. Here we go, it's Rainbow Road. But first off, do 50 jump boosts is another challenge we have just completed. Very nice, that is going to be a grand star for us. And let's get back to it. Rainbow Road, playing as Lemmy, because why wouldn't I? <laughs> he has a high level. So we don't have these gliders yet. I really wish I did, but for right now we'll work on this one. Let's go. So this is 3DS Rainbow Road, so I was right. It is the 3DS version, the Mario Kart 7 version. Very cool. Wow, look at this. You get to go on the moon. You get to jump off the craters. I really don't know too much about this Rainbow Road version. I haven't experienced it too much in Mario Kart 7 because I just haven't played much of that game. So this is super duper nice. Let's go for it, Rocket Star. Oh, I love it so much, it's really cool. So has it been worth the wait? I think so. Oh wow, all of our items went away there. And I don't know how different this will be to the original on Mario Kart 7. Probably, they're usually exactly the same from what I've seen. Anyways, we're getting knocked around a little bit, which is not good, but this track is really, really long. Like, if you look around, there's just track everywhere, and on top of that, um, oh gosh, grab all these coins if I can. On top of that, look at the mini-map in the top left. It just keeps going, it's wild. All right. Uh, that was weird. So, like, that's sort of the problem with the bubble, though, is that I'm not getting any farther ahead. Oh, this is bouncing up and down, getting more stuff. Okay, giant, mushroom. Mushroom, oh, I was trying to knock you out. Didn't quite work, my combo ended. Oh, look at this, we're going on to the rings of this planet. There's only half of it for some reason. It's a little weird, but I love it. I definitely need an item ticket because I'm just like so far behind. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Got it, and go through that, get a little speed boost, keep gliding. And if I could just throw that bob on backwards and maybe throw this one ahead, can you stop? Can you stop that? <laughs> Oh man. This is definitely a bit wild at the moment. Oh no! Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, I thought I fell to my doom. I did not, I'm falling onto the moon. Whoa, this is so cool. I love this track. Ah, no, wait, 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 come back, come back, come back. I'm having such a hard time keeping up with the competition though. Like, it's been wild. Oh, this is cool, I wish I could use these speed boosts a little bit more. Can I please just cancel the bu bubble? I don't like it. Whoa, what is going on here? Got this weird like cyclone. Feels like we're in a washing machine or something. There we go, get the gliding. So you could actually end up messing that up and not getting the gliding section, which would be probably worse. But if I can angle this up just right, I could probably hit those speed boosts as well. Come on, come on, this could be my chance to catch up. Because there's a couple of people right in front of us. We're still in dead last right now, like what's happening? I've never had this hard of a time just keeping up. 
Oh, bullet bill, bullet bill. Imagine if I had gotten a bullet bill frenzy. Wow, that was the shortest bullet bill I've ever, ever seen. And that's gonna get us into third place for a decent finish. We get 3,000 points. We still get over 10,000 score. Wait, was that all one lap? Oh, okay. That's the big thing. It's all one big lap. It's technically three laps, but like in a three section like they have in Mario Kart 8 uh, with some of the tracks where it's like just different sections. Very interesting. Luckily, we we're able to get enough grand stars. That was so much fun. That was really, really cool. And next up, we have the ring race as Rosalina. Let's get to it. So we need to collect at least 10 rings to get a clear here, but of course, we're gonna try to go above and beyond. I think we're in New York minute two. Yep. And I'm ready to go. So first off, let's get these three and then turn. I really like New York minute. It's a fun one. It just has like this calm vibe to it, especially with like the ja jazz music and stuff. Might as well grab a couple of extra coins if I can. Probably very close to hitting our 300 coin limit for the day. There we go. Keep drifting. Almost missed that one, but I didn't. Oh, here comes some more. I wasn't actually expecting those. It popped up at the, like the last moment. It was a little weird. So we're already up to 23. And I know we can do better. Oh. And got it, 31 out of 10. We definitely got every single one of them unless there were some really sneaky ones I just didn't see, but I don't think that's the case. So 31 out of 10, very, very nice. And six more than we needed, awesome. So, so far the holiday tour is going fantastic with two cups completed with all the grand stars. Next up we have the Mario Cup, which is gonna start with Waluigi Pinball of all places. Level five baby Mario, I need to boost his score as much as possible and we'll just do the taxi and this. Cause if we can boost the score of the taxi, cause remember we are getting a new taxi soon because of the gold pass rewards. I feel like that's probably the worst part about this tour so far, is that we're not getting a character whatsoever in the gold pass rewards. I feel like that's pretty cheap. I feel like they really should give you that. Like even though, like, and that's coming from me, somebody who has all the characters you could possibly get in the gold pass rewards. I think it's very, oh no, important to get those character points so that you can level them up. That's how the game works at this point, you know. We gotta, Make the most of it. Okay, well I was hoping to glide a bit more than that. Didn't quite work out. I'm gonna try to drift and then pick up the items, like that, okay. So once again, just like with the last OW track, I'm far behind of the competition. But maybe we could change that, maybe not. Out of my way. Ah, come on, come on, that was all me. That was just me being bad, okay. So at least we're not in dead last. We're in, we're in seventh place, second to last, and we're fighting for better placements. Ow, Mario, come on, stop. Now I'm in dead last, I spoke too soon. That was baloney. Okay, let's go ahead and, oh, get a giant mushroom frenzy. I just don't know how well that's gonna work. It's one of the, I feel like, the, one of the worst frenzies in my opinion, because you don't go all that much faster, so it's harder to keep up with everybody, and by the time you get to them, the, the frenzy's over. You just can't really make much happen from it. Okay, but we are fighting our way back up. We are now in second place. Baby Luigi is our rival here. He is uh, currently in the lead. Come on, ah, oh, combo went away. Why'd it have to be that way? We get a green shell frenzy. Wasn't expecting that. I don't know where Luigi is, but we're gonna try to get him. My drifting skills are awful. I don't think we're gonna be able to reach him like this. He is way too far ahead. He's already like at the end of the spiral coming up. Wow, okay, yeah, no no chance with that. Get some good items though, maybe. We could get maybe another Frenzy. We have a pretty high chance at, or at least a much higher chance of Frenzy, seeing how we're level five. But even then, I don't think a Frenzy is gonna save us here. Keep going, keep going, watch out for all that stuff. Okay, gotta be careful. I'm gonna hold on to the screenshot just in case something awful happens, but Baby Luigi just passed the finish line. So we're just gonna have to take second place, which is fine, because that's still over 4,000 points for us, getting us almost 11,000 in total. We're fine. Super duper good. 24% through level 24, how fitting. Bonus points for the taxi, which is exactly what I wanted, and more than we need. Definitely more than we need. 
So, next up we have the Shy Guy Bazaar, but first, a challenge has been completed. It calls opponents to crash using a Mega Mushroom. We only had to do it once, and we did that. That's great, that'll be two more Grand Stars and a bingo bonus of 50 coins. Cool, so we're, we're slowly chipping through this. Also, what is the reward for uh, completing everything? Just a uh, time thing, and then five rubies. They used to give you coin rush tickets for completing Gold Pass. They stopped doing that because it was probably too much of a value. <laughs> they really don't like it when they give you a good deal. Okay, uh, let's do that. Because we're like, what was that, level four, level five with Shy Guy as well? We got a lot of characters that are getting up there, for sure. Okay, so Shy Guy Bazaar as Shy Guy, starting with 1,200 points, still pretty good. He doesn't seem to fit this cart, in my opinion. It just looks a little goofy, but that's what I love about it. Got it. Okay, so we just gotta probably take the shortcut, uh, where is it? Right about here, for all those coins. Thank you very much. Put that banana down. Put this one down. Get a good drift. Ah, oh, tried to make that work, but sometimes I feel like the item rolling takes a little bit longer than other times. I don't know, it's a little weird. But anyways, put that down. We hit Morton. Oh, come on! Really, King Boo? I was right about to hit that. So we could just kept going. Wow, that bob -on's being launched super far. That's crazy, because he has the cannon right now. Anyways, we're gliding. I have my own bob -ombs to use now. There we go, I actually hit a couple of people with them too. That was pretty nice. So we're uh, fighting for the lead right now. My combo just ended at the worst possible time. That stunk. Okay, got it. Okay. I still have my item ticket if I really, really need it to. Which I might, depending on how all things go here. We have Rainbow, no, Reindeer Yoshi. Well, I think it had star power, so it might as well have been Rainbow Yoshi. There we go, we hit Yoshi with something. I think that was the banana we placed ra last, last lap. Okay, out of the way. Now we use an item ticket. This is the time. Red Shell and Red Shell. Got it. Oh, 27, 28, 29, right there. Come on, we can get it. That's it, keep gliding, shy guy. Watch out for him. Okay, that's what just bounced me around, I'm fine. Banana, how did that not get you? That got you, see you, Morton, but now I'm in major danger. Ah, oh, combo went away, right at the end. That's fine, boom, we get the win, we get over 12,000, 13, almost 14,000 points. That really racked up fast, very cool. So, hopefully a decent bonus percentage of 26.8, so we got 2.8% there. Uh, Shy Guy gets a little boost, and we're good. So, next up is the final race of the Mario Cup. Uh, it's Yoshi's Circuit, but first, land 10 hits with the bananas. Uh, that is going to get us another challenge done. I'll have to take a look at these challenges, but we've already got a good chunk of them. Cause opponents to crash three times while gliding. Very fortunate, and that's gonna be a bingo bonus. Very cool. And earn a score of 10,000 or higher using or higher on five courses. Wow, okay. Two more grand stars. Three challenges done in that one race. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and do Yoshi Circuit as we gotta do. Let's do Yoshi this time. Just normal Yoshi, boost his score a little bit. And we have this level five glider, but it's already maxed out, so there's no real use to doing that. Might as well focus on the one that isn't maxed out so we can get it more points along the way. Okay, so for this one. As you can see, it's Yoshi's Circuit. I love it. We, tr we race this track a lot, but it's always worth it because it's always a cool track. Got it, okay. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, ready, and throw this there. Throw a green shell, throw mushroom. I threw that bob on way too far, it almost got me. Oh, that was like the normal egg that Birdo throws. That sort of looked weird. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Okay, come on, there we go. Oh, how'd you get ahead of me like that? Wow, you must have had like a mushroom or two. Yeah, you definitely do. Okay, hard to keep my combo at the moment. We'll figure it out. Grab some extra coins. Baby Mario is just like right on our trail right now. But, I have one green shell to protect me. Better than nothing. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna use it to waste. Just waste it, totally. Okay, Red Shell, hey, who did that? Stop, I'm trying to get Baby Mario. Don't you wanna get Baby Mario so you can win too? Apparently not, everybody wants Baby Mario to win. 
Okay, well that was not good. We're down to fifth place now. Only got 191 points for crossing the finish line. Okay, throw that out, throw that out. That still didn't get you. That, nobody can get gotten. They're too powerful. Okay, come on, stop! Why are they too good? Keep going, keep going. The first lap went fine, but this lap is going awful right now. Okay, mushroom, throw that out. Whoa, just barely dodge that bullet bill. So there's like a huge chunk of racers right in front of us. If we can find a way just to sneak by them, we can definitely get into like second or first. Come on, come on. Don't get hit by Birdo while she's in super sized. Okay, here we go, here we go, ready? Boom, snag both the second and first. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. 9,000 points, awesome. That always feels so good when you can steal a win like that. Mm. So there we go. That was the final race of the Mario Cup. We gotta do the challenge now. But we also get bonus points for the Yoshi Kart. And yeah, definitely, even if we had gotten like fourth, we would have gotten the score we needed. But it was still great to get that. Next up, break item boxes as Ludwig. But first, we got another challenge done. Use 30 mushrooms. That's a weir really weird one. That cart is really, really big for Toad. Uh, but that is going to be a grand star. And more than that, a bingo bonus of 50 coins. Okay, we can't, I can't believe we're already almost completed the first set of tour challenges. Usually it takes me a little while, but we've been storming through it in today's episode. Touch an item box to break it open, I know, I know. So hit five item boxes at the minimum. But hopefully we can actually get more than that done. Oh no, oh no, got it. Keep going. And that's a, a giant mushroom over there, so I could grab that just like that. Be careful of the oncoming train. There we go. Because we're so big, we can hit both of these at once. So we're already up to 13. Very nice. So I'm just trying to hit this stuff at just the right angle. And that's when we go into big mode again, hopefully. Got it, 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 okay. Okay, I was about tempted to take that shortcut. Glad I didn't. So, if we can just get this group of them, and boom, I think we got every single one of them. That was gonna be 32 in total. That was perfect, that was a lot of fun. That might be my favorite uh, box breaking challenge yet. And yeah, we only needed 18, so we got quite a lot more than that. Very nice. So, that means we have one more cup left to do in today's episode. It is the Birdo Cup, and it's also the ranked cup for the first week of the holiday tour. So let's go to Ghost Valley 1R. Start with, hmm. He is so much lower thing, like has so much lower points. Maybe, I, maybe I'll try it, maybe it won't matter too much. These are all level one. So what's my highest score? It's gonna be this one, and this is level two. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about boosting points for this. I wanna just make sure we make the most of what we have. Using a higher level is usually good for that. Because from this tour onward, or at least throughout this race onward, throughout this cup, we have to you know, win this whole ranked thing. So hopefully we get a good score here. Of course, this is a very hard track to get a really good score with. So let's just get to gliding, just like that. Use a mushroom, and then use another mushroom when we need it, which I guess I could use here because they're taking my coins. Just trying to get a combo is really tough right now. Proven to be difficult. Oh, seven, lucky seven ability. Don't get that too often. And it totally sort of went to waste there. It was sort of weird. I don't like that very much. Okay, green shell. Why my combo going up like crazy now? I guess everybody ran into the items I dropped from the lucky seven. Okay, lucky seven again. They used the blooper. It's only gonna go against one person. This is really weird so far, but shy guy, I'm catching up to you, buddy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, red shell, and then, ah, uh, darn, almost got him. What a weird track. I mean, 65, 77, definitely at the least has room for improvement. We didn't get a single frenzy that race, so definitely we can improve that. But, bonus points for both King Boo and the cart will lead us to have 5,100 points in total for the Grand Stars. We got more than that, so we're good. Daisy Hills, now this is where we can start picking up some speed, but we're already in fifth place, so that's cool. Daisy Hills, playing as Daisy, playing with this cart, and definitely this glider. 
the highest level combo we have. This is actually the same exact situation as the Daisy Hills we raced earlier in today's episode, same cart combo and everything. Let's see how it goes. If we could get that another, another like 10 to 11,000 points at the minimum, that would be cool. Got it. Out of the way, Birdo. Keep moving. Okay. Oh, and I get a banana frenzy to start things off. Can I please run right into, I at least destroyed your item. So that feels nice. Go this way, actually hit somebody there too. Keep pun these bananas down. Get another set of items. Grab some coins. Throw that back. And I might not be in the lead right now, but I am getting some extra speed boosts and stuff, which is always good. Uh, whoop. Use the mushroom. Get hit by an item at that same moment. I'm glad I was able to use the mushroom before we got hit by the lightning now. That's at least good. Uh, I guess I'll use that and I'll try to throw this out at a decent time and then try to steal your mushroom. Thank you very much. Might as well use an item ticket now because this could be a bit of a scary place. We have the triple uh, hearts flying around us, so we should be pretty well protected for a while. Okay. Got it, time 61. Can I go higher than that? No, I can't, darn. Uh, couldn't quite get the frenzy. I need more than what we got right now. Like, even though we're doing spectacularly well, don't get me wrong. Oh, so the hearts that do eventually go away, that's sort of a shame. I feel like they should just stick around forever until you get hit. You know, that'd make the most sense. So who is in front right now? It is Luigi, but not anymore. Sorry, Luigi. Okay. Go ahead and get that, awesome. Throw that banana down. What was going on there? I don't know why I went at such a weird angle, but I did. Throw that backwards as well, and we're gonna finish this with a 21 combo, getting up to 13,000 points almost even. So, that's pretty good. That was better than the last time we were here. I think that we could do even better. I think there's a chance of getting a double frenzy there for sure. And we get bonus points with Daisy. We got more than double the requirement for the Grand Stars, which is always good, but more than that, how high am I gonna go up for the tour? Looks like we're already at second place. The next one's gonna be a bit more demanding, but as long as we can get what? Like six or 7,000 points, we should be in the clear. New York Minute 2T. We'll play with, with Yoshi right now, and this cart, and this. So everything we're racing with right now, we just got brand new in this episode, so it's not gonna have a very high level, and it's not gonna have a very high score. But if we can get lucky, maybe we can get 6,000 points. I mean, honestly, we can definitely get 6,000 points. When you think about it, we get at least like 3,500 points for winning. So all we need is like, you know, 2,500 points to uh, actually get the 6K. So we should be able to do that. Use a mushroom. Use another one, why not? Got it. I love how this actually, this looks like we're on a slide just gliding around. It's so cool. But yeah, I guess now is a better time than ever to say. I hope you guys have been enjoying the holidays. Hope you've been spending time with friends and family and just having an overall good time. There we go. Ow, come on, Wario. Wario is trying to make sure I don't have a good holiday. Well, you can't defeat my holiday spirit. I'll tell you that much. Let's keep drifting. Uh, maybe it was a bad time for that, but I made it work. Banana. Uh, Red Shell, got rid of some more people. Definitely try to get Wario with this. It looks like somebody else had my idea, so I don't get anything for that. Not even points. I can't even see right now, but I guess that's the point of the blooper. Oh, come on. I got double Yoshi Egg. I feel like, yeah, Yoshi Egg Frenzy would be really cool. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Banana, I almost got a Banana Frenzy. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, that actually worked. The moment she threw her green shell was the moment before she got hit by mine. That was perfect, very, very lucky. So we got just under 8,000 points there. That was cool. And everything here gets some bonus points. Very, very nice. And we just barely got the five grand stars, just barely. So while that wasn't anything crazy, it will bring us up to first place in this tiered cup, ranked cup. That really shows you that the first week's ranked cup is always so much easier than the second week's when it comes to the scores you're going against, which I think the scores aren't like real people's scores. Like if you wanna see real people's scores, I think you need to see the friends. Um, because I'm pretty sure that this a lot of the time is just what the game is just like magically saying so that you have to play more. Um, but for right now, we're in the lead. That'll definitely change as time goes on. We have one more thing left to do. It is the big reverse race. We'll play with Shy Guy and do this cart, why not? And this glider. 
Whatever's gonna give us the highest level, because I think... Well, I mean, I guess I don't know if that gives me bonus chances at, like, items and stuff. Maybe not. <clears throat> okay, so we're in eighth place, but of course we're trying to... Oh, get a Mushroom Frenzy, very fortunate. I mean, I guess it does give us a higher chance at Frenzy, so if that alone makes it sort of kind of worth it to have higher level uh, racers. I'm pretty sure the levels apply, that's why they still list them and they don't list the, the points, because the points don't really apply. So we're in sixth place already, that was a nice way to catch up. And if I'm going for the quickest possible route, I wanna take this up here, for sure. Make sure we don't mess it up too much. Uh, throw a bob bomb out to the side like that might be good. Hit you with the red shell, and we're already about to snag first place just like that. Skipped over second. Okay, now we're doing really, really well. Put that banana down. Okay, somebody, a shy guy hit it, what do you know? What were the odds? So we're in the lead, now it's just about, ow, keeping it, which isn't turning out perfect. But we can do it, we can do it. Got it. So I definitely wanna put this banana down so I can have the green shell to protect me. There we go, blooper's gonna try to get both of us, or all of us, but it immediately just went away, okay. No, 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 wait, no! What was that? Oh, that was so lame, right at the end. So I don't, I'm not gonna be able to get it this time. Darn, I want to try again. That was so stinky. Well, I guess it's technically the cup completed. Uh, let's retry it though. I know, New Year 2020 pack. Uh, but for right now, big reverse race. Let's go ahead and try again. So this time I'm much more in the lead. They just didn't bombard me with items as much. So I was just able to get a pretty comfortable win. There we go. That's all I wanted last time, but I finally got it. Okay, so. Shy Guy gets to win against the other Shy Guys. That should be all three Grand Stars, and indeed it is. So we should have at least a couple of presents to open up in today's episode. We're gonna take a look ourselves. So we have one, two, three, and the Waluigi Cup is opened. Uh, so one, two, three presents, four presents to open. Let's get to it then and see what we get inside. It looks like we will get some rubies, some coins, five rubies, 100 coins, three item tickets. Oh, another parachute. Uh, three rubies, two star tickets, five rubies, 300 coins, three rubies, five item tickets, three rubies, one quick ticket, and baby Rosalina. Uh, one glider points up. I feel like that was a lot. Was that really four? That was four. I feel like that was like a lot more than normal, but maybe they're just giving a lot at the beginning and then they give less as time goes on. Definitely looks like it. Okay, so with that being said, is there anything more I wanted to do in today's episode? I already got everything I wanted out of the shop. Looks like it. Very interesting so far for sure. Next episode, we will just try to continue um, and also check out the uh, Birdo pack. Right here, the Birdo pack, which comes with Birdo. That should be a lot of fun. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Kart Tour. Before you go, be sure to comment Reindeer Zebra so you've watched at the end of the you're a Zebratastic viewer. Also, subscribe to Jin the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.